Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? My makeup, I did a little bit of makeup look. I was in a meeting earlier today with my team and the first 30 minutes of the meeting, I'm like, you know what? I had the meeting back here. I was like, you know, let me go ahead and put some makeup on. So this is from earlier today. Um, Let me write something down real quick. So y'all came back to give y'all another chit chat video because my last chit chat video was not that long at all. And I'm gonna retwist some parts of my hair. I did lose two strand twists recently, but I did them I think a little too fast. And so they're already getting frizzy. Um, my hair is really, really growing. So they're getting frizzy in some sections. So I'm just going to redo some. And that way y'all can see how I set my twist. But we also are having a cocktail, girl. It is Friday. It has been one hell of a week for me. Um, It's been a hell of a month. And so today I had a doctor's appointment, girl. I had my yearly go up there and get checked out and she's like oh we need to do a couple of other she looked at my history and my family history and because of my family history she's like oh you need to get a mammogram an ultrasound or mri like seriously a colonoscopy thing you need to get all this done because there are so many people in my family that have cancer y'all it is but anyway, y'all know how we do this chit chat. We start off what's going on with my personal life, when I'm watching on YouTube, and when I'm watching on TV. So, girl, I got real heavy on the eyebrows, but hell, it is what it is. So, this right here is a Cosmopolitan. It's my favorite drink. So, let's go ahead. It's a pomegranate Cosmopolitan, too. So, there's going to be some slip ups and everything in this because this is strong. Two shots. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, y'all, let me get something to help retwist my hair. Um, I'm also drinking because it's my, my, um, co-worker and friend Christine's birthday. So happy birthday, Christine. Um, I know she don't want me to listen. <laughs> y'all. So let me redo. Let me find one that's kind of frizzy to redo. Let me see. I don't like the way this one looks. So let's redo this one. Okay. All right, girl. So, hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Are y'all ready for Thanksgiving, girl? I am not. I am not cooking much of anything because it's just us. But look, why did my neighbor come over? I was in the shower and I heard a knock at the door. And I was like, whatever. So this was last week, right? Why did my, my husband's like, oh, Lori's husband came by and they're going to put their turkey in our freezer. I said, do what? He said, yeah, they don't have enough room. And so he asked if they could put it in our freezer. And I said, yeah. I'm like, don't. Don't you be letting people borrow our freezer without talking. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with it, y'all. I'm just kidding. But I'm like, how the hell are you going to ask to borrow somebody's freezer? Child, they need to get a extra freezer. Um, Having a deep freezer is very common in the South. I don't see too many people out here since I've been living out here in Phoenix. I don't see too many people that have deep freezers. But it's very common in the South to have deep freezers or an extra refrigerator hell. Um, my family growing up, we always had a deep freezer. Just, we just did, you know? All right, y'all, so that's how we do that retwist. You know, let me get a clip. Jamie was playing with my clips. Hold on, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, I am cooking, I'm not cooking a lot. Um, uh, Cornish hen, green beans, um, mashed potatoes, dressing, chicken and dressing, um, pecan, caramel cakes, some rolls. Not a lot, you know, a little bit. Look, I, I've rattled all that off. Not a lot, though. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. Yeah, nothing else much going on. Thanksgiving is coming up. Today is Friday. Dang, look, these kids. Are y'all kids eating? He came in here, you know, saying, can I get some more cereal? I'm like, dang. <laughs> This boy eats, eat, eat, eat. So anyway, y'all, let me show y'all how I do this. I do this tight and then, hold on, let me get this hair out the way. I do it tight and then I do it loose, okay? Loose, loose, loose. And then when I get to the bottom or almost to the bottom, I start to do it tight again. I like the way these look after like a week or so. They look really good. They look like um, locks after a while. So anyway, y'all, nothing else is going on. We are taking a break from homeschooling for next week, but we're going to be doing crafts because I'm a crafty helper. And I'm just like that, y'all. Like, 
one of the other moms I know who's homeschooling her child, she's like, oh, we do, we have a program, a curriculum, we stick to it, I don't do anything else. I said, really? She's like, yeah, we don't. I said, oh, we do um, science experiments, we look at YouTube videos, we read together, I print out worksheets, we do crafts. I am that stereo, stereotypical Pinterest mom. Like, I went on um, Teachers Pay Teachers, I found a couple of different crafts to do a couple of worksheets and every day until thanksgiving we're gonna have look i'm smiling because i enjoy it enjoy it every day until thanksgiving we're gonna have something to do um because i like that y'all i like my husband is home today so we will be having a fish fry because it's friday friday and y'all will be seeing it in the vlog yeah this was messed up and so girl they only had two pieces of catfish left i'm like um Okay, so I went and got some party wings. So we're gonna have some fish party wings, some fried potatoes, some green beans, some sugar cookies, some drinks. We're just gonna have a good time because it's been a rough week. My husband has been quiet, which means there must be something going on with him. Qu more quiet than normal. He he typically is a quiet man. Um, so I need to see what's up with him. Make sure he's okay. Um, Cause he won't tell me. My husband's the type of man. He won't tell me if something is wrong. He'll keep it in. Um, that's just how he is. So anyway, y'all, enough of that. So, cause we're gonna talk a, a lot about what I've been watching. Cause I want to really, you know, get into detail on the stuff I've been watching. So, um, this smells good, y'all. I'm using. Kinky Tresses Hair Butter, her coconut mango butter. I know y'all really can't see that because of the brightness. My shedding has gotten better. I still feel like, yeah, but it has gotten better. Let me take this part of my hair down. So, um, YouTube, I'm still watching. I know that this is silly, but I'm still watching the young lady, D. Sims, play her, um, single father, Sims game y'all i just think it's funny and she's a character i think she's either she lives in texas or she's from texas i've been looking at cooking videos um looking at divas can cook some of her old videos because i am going to be making why am i doing this i don't need to do this one i'm going to be combining her brown sugar her brown sugar pound cake and cooking with curlin has a pecan caramel pound cake and I basically combine those recipes together to make this pound cake I'm going to be making for Thanksgiving. And that whole better turn out good. Y'all, I'm sorry. I shouldn't call the dang pound cake a hoe. So, um, I'm just trying to see which one I need to redo. This one needs to be redone. Good Lord, girl. So, yeah, what else I'm watching on YouTube? So, I have been checking, um... I don't know what it was. It was some type of show. Was it couples therapy? I feel like it was like couples therapy or something on Oprah or on the on own network that I was watching on YouTube. And it had, you know, of course, these celebrity couples that are having marital issues. And so the therapist bought on people that have been married for 50 plus years. One couple had been married for like 50, 53 years. Another couple, I'm getting choked up just thinking about this. Another couple had been married for 80 plus years, y'all. 80 years. They were like, I think they were like 103 and, a, why am I talking low? 103 and like 100 years old, this couple. And they were basically getting marital advice from these people that have been married that long and it was one thing that struck me odd is the one woman as have either one of you cheated and the guy said no and then she's like wow and i'm like is that really that rare is that really something that's out of the ordinary to find a married couple where neither has cheated that's really this that's that's really sad to think that um uh so some of the advice that these people had uh the elderly couples had for these celebrity couples 
were <clears throat> you know I, and i i do like one of them and i i mentioned this in a video i'm going to be sharing in a couple more weeks here 40 things i've learned by 40 is the one person said uh, i think it was an interracial couple they said keep your friends and family out of your marriage that is so true even when you're in a uh, relationship boyfriend girlfriend keep your friends and family out of your relationship i mean seriously y'all i mean I understand that people like to go to, you know, certain family members for advice, but you got to be careful. You know, you got to be careful when you do that, okay? Um, so I think another one was, and I've heard this before, apologize when you've done something wrong and mean it. And it's so funny, like a, a old co-worker who had been married, her and her husband had been married for 30 plus years. That was the one advice she gave me. She said, apologize. When you've done something wrong, make sure you say you're sorry and mean it. I said, well, um, <laughs> I know. I was so young then, y'all. I think I had to be about, not really young. I was old enough to know, but I was around 27, 26, 27 when I asked her that advice. I have no shame in asking people who've been married that long for advice because they know. People who've been married 30, 40, 50 years, they know. They've been through it. It's not easy. Um, girl, what the hell is that? So, okay, y'all. We're going to... We're going to talk about what I've been watching, but before we get into that, as again, sticking to relationships. So I have a question for y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments, okay? So hold on. What would be a deal breaker for you in a relationship, in a marriage? Like what would be it? Would it be them cheating, money issues, lying? <sighs> really thought about this only because he he know i'm crazy my thing is is that i've never really thought about that until i watch one of these shows i'm gonna tell y'all out here in a minute so what would be a deal breaker for you in a relationship marriage whatever like what would be it to say okay that's it i'm done bye so for me it would not be lying it would not be cheating to a certain extent it would be having a child outside of the marriage that would be it for me like i know it would because in my at that point it shows that you have not only are you cheating but you're very careless and you are now putting my body and my health in danger because you're using you're not using protection and you got somebody else knocked up and now we have you have a child outside of our covenant oh yeah that would be a deal breaker for me yeah no 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 and and let me back up i will have to say multiple times cheating one time i may be able to let it slide like honestly a lot of therapy a lot of prayer multiple times means that you're not changing i can't do it well no we won't be able to do it mm -mm. that that's it for me and definitely if you bring a child into this no okay so now what i'm watching on tv i've started to watch and let me not kind of do any spoilers uh on the fourth episode of the undoing undoing excuse me with nicole kitman which y'all i think nicole kitman is absolutely stunning mama is over 50 of course she's had a nip tuck here but i think she has that country girl perry she she's never in my opinion been been like this sexy person she's just a beautiful woman she's a very beautiful woman in my opinion it has nicole kitman and hugh Hugh something English guy so surrounding this couple they have an incident that has occurred with someone that they know and it goes from there very very good and is it on HBO I believe it's on HBO I really am liking it okay I'm on the fourth episode like I said what I binge watched in two days like that baby was the Queen's Gambit. When I tell you this show was right up, it's on Netflix and it's about a orphan who becomes this child prodigy and she learns how to play chess and she wins all these awards. And Y'all, I'm like, I need to buy me a chess, um, a chess game and learn how to play chess, but chess is difficult i used to try to uh learn how to play when i was in high school it's very difficult to play um love the movie i'm sorry love the series absolutely loved it the only thing i did not like 
in the series, she has a friend that she met at the orphanage, a sister named Jolene. And there was a episode where Jolene is driving her new car and um, I forgot the main character's name, the redhead. She's like, well, how did you get this car? She's like, well, through my or a boss or a partner or someone at the law firm. She, law firm she's working at, it's a paralegal. And Jolene, the sister's like, yes, he's married, but eventually y'all, and I'm like, I don't like that. I didn't like that. You got one of the only leading women of color in this series and she's working her way up by sleeping around with a married man. No, I loved it. And then they got me thinking about Bobby Fischer. Do y'all remember that movie from the 90s called The Search for Bobby, Bobby Fischer? He was also a child prodigy, Bobby Fischer um, was. But then there was a movie I believe that came out either in the late 80s or the early 90s. Um, so anyway, y'all, watching that, watching The Intruder, almost done with a girl, like 10 minutes into it with, um, Michael Ely. Let me tell you something. I really don't care. I just shouldn't say I don't care. Light-skinned men really, I need to be careful because my husband's light-skinned. <laughs> Well, he's red, and that's a little different, but he he fair-skinned. But anyway, light-skinned men really ain't, but Michael Ealy is, he he does it for me. So, Michael Ealy, Megan Good, and some um older white gentleman, he's a well-known actor, I forgot his name, and the, um, the white guy from Power in this movie, it's good. I like it. I love the house that they bought in the countryside. I'm like, yes. Um, like 10 minutes away from ending the movie and I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the movie. I can already tell what's going to happen though. You can already tell what's going to happen. So, but it is what it is. We told y'all in the last chit chat, I got my playlist ready for all of my Christmas movies. So I added this Christmas. I've seen it a thousand times, but whatever. Um, so yeah, y'all, that's what I'm watching on TV. I think I'm going to go back and watch season two or Fargo because I watched season one. I really liked it. It was a little, it's dark comedy, which I dig. Y'all, look at my nails. My nails are a mess. Dark comedy, which I dig, like I said. I kind of want to watch his dark materials, which is on Netflix. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about it that's, I don't know. All right, y'all. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.